side you think is the drugstore and which side you think is the high end. Go go go, write it down in the comments below right now, don't cheat. Hmm, which side is it? So the drugstore side is actually my right side and this is the high end side. But honestly, I don't think you can tell. Like they look pretty much identical. So if you guys want to see the dupes that I've come up with for the high end products, then keep on watching this video and be sure to give it a like as well. That helps me out so much. Let's try and get this video to 20,000 likes. That would be really cool. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. So first up is foundation. For my high end side, I'm using the Born This Way by Too Faced and I absolutely love this foundation. It's very high in coverage, I would say, but it's not too mattifying or too dewy. I would say it's a very nice compromise in between the two formulas. And for my drugstore side, I'm using the Fit Me foundation by Maybelline. I have been a fan of this foundation for so long and I feel like the consistency of this foundation is quite similar to the one of Born This Way foundation. Honestly, I can't really tell the difference between the two, but the price point does vary quite a lot. Up next is concealer. Now I have to say these two concealers aren't the closest concealers that I own. I don't actually own many high-end concealers but these two to me were quite similar because they are both cream. Now there is a big gap between the price point and you probably will be able to tell by how long the concealers actually stay on your skin and the way they look on the skin is also quite similar because they both have color correcting properties. However due to the price one probably does last much longer than the other. I'm now moving on to the contour slash bronzer. I'm using Bahama Mama by the balm. This is one of my signature bronzers. I love this bronzer so much. It's so cool toned. It's not shimmery. It's very mattifying and it just looks very natural on the skin. And likewise, the model's own bronzer looks very similar on the skin, although the shade does vary slightly in the pan. However, when it's applied to the skin, it looks pretty much the same. Moving on to blush on my high end side, I'm using MAC Super Continental and my dupe for this is the Soap and Glory Rosy Chic Blush. These vary just very slightly in pigment because one is a little bit more pinky than the other but overall when they are applied to the cheek I think they look very similar. Lastly for the skin, the highlight I'm using for my high end side is Too Faced Chocolate Bunny. This is actually a bronzer but I find it to be more of a highlight and for my drugstore side I'm using the 17 Shimmer Brick. By the way, I've just noticed that there's a lot of Too Faced products in this video. This is completely unintentional, I just really love Too Faced products at the moment. And as you can see, the glow on both of the sides of my cheekbones are just very very similar. They're really gold in colour. Up next on the eyes on my high end side, I'm using Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Again, and Too Faced, sorry guys. And for my drugstore side, I'm using the NYX Warm Neutrals Palette. As you can tell in price, the difference is huge. However, they both have the same amount of colors. Now, the colors aren't a perfect match, but I've found that some of the colors are pretty much the same. So firstly, I'm taking the shade Truffled from the Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette and I'm popping that into the crease as a transition shade. And now I'm doing the same for the other side using the equivalent shadow from the NYX Palette. I'm now reaching for the shade Bon Bon from the Semi Sweet Palette and I'm applying this to the center of my eyelid on the moving part of my lid. I'm now reaching for my NYX Palette and I'm using the third shadow down and doing the same thing on the other lid. Now to finish off the eyes, I'm reaching for pudding and I'm just applying this into the crease to kind of add even more depth to that area. And I'm then reaching for the NYX palette once again and using the last shadow of the palette and repeating the same thing to the other side. I'm also pulling those shadows along the lower lash line to complete the whole look together. Now moving on to mascara. For my high end, I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and for my drugstore, I'm using Kiko Milano Endless Sky Volume Mascara. Although the applicators are a little bit different, I feel like they both give off the same volume volumized effect and I've been loving both of these mascaras recently but they are very different in price so I thought I would share that with you guys and if you can't afford the Too Faced one the Kiko Milano is a great option. Moving on to the lips for my high-end liner I am using Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K lip liner 
and for my drugstore side I'm using Barry M lip liner in shade toast I have found that these liners are very similar in shade of course the consistency of the product is a little bit different as we all know the Kylie lip liners are very very creamy in consistency and although the Barry M one is very creamy still I don't think it measures up to the Kylie Cosmetics one but for the price I don't think you can fault it and lastly for the lips, I have to say right off the bat that this isn't the cheapest dupe. For the Kylie Cosmetics Dolce K Lipstick, I have found that Too Faced Melted Chocolate in Chocolate Honey is pretty much the same in shade. Although the Too Faced one is more expensive in pounds, I think it's probably less hassle to get the Too Faced option if you are living in the UK. Because of course on the Kylie Lip Kit you have to pay for customs and all that kind of stuff. So although it is more expensive for the product, I feel like it's still more accessible to everyone. They both dry matte, although the Kylie lip kit does dry a little bit more matte so you have to bear that in mind as well so that is all for my dupe slash I don't know what I'm saying drugstore versus high-end makeup I hope you guys enjoyed this look I'm loving it and I hope you guys liked finding out some dupes for high-end products because honestly you don't need the most expensive products all the time I mean it's nice to splurge on some items but some you can really find a very good alternative at the drugstore so I hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a huge thumbs up for me let's try and get this video to 20,000 likes like I said in the beginning and don't forget to subscribe to my two channels and follow me because it's free and you get to be friends with me. Oh, I am a lyrical genius. I'm so not. Oh, Roxy. God, you need to go home. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And I'll see you very, very soon in my next video. Bye. Today I'm going to be filming some summer hacks to make your life that little bit easier during the summer, especially when it's hot like this. I have done loads and loads of other hack videos in the past, so I'll leave them all down below in the description so you guys can check them out.